poker in Caesar's Palace is gone. You can see the inside before I do. I'm just gonna stick the camera inside the curtain. I'm not gonna see it till editing. Okay, I saw it. I saw it through the camera. I thought I might have to stick my arm in like a lot more and at a weird angle or something. I saw it. The tables are gone, carpet's there, so. Uh, poker is leaving Caesar's Palace, already left. It would have been fun to play the last, like the last down at Caesar's Palace. I tried to do that at PH a few years ago. Uh, that was the plan until they said they were giving away made event seats. And at that point, just every table was full all day till the seats were gone and then the room was closed. But sounds like at Caesar's, I don't know if it was like the last table of the night when it ended, the room was gone, or I don't know, they had like some time limit, like 8 a.m. Whatever tables were going, were done, but no huge grand like finish like Planet Hollywood had. So if I knew the date, it would have been cool to play there. We heard it was gonna close, I think mid July, and then it stayed open and all I heard was early August, but I never knew an exact date. But anyway, Caesar's Palace Poker, gone for now. Maybe forever. So not only is the poker room gone, Caesar's just sold the World Series of Poker to GG Poker. Interesting entity to sell to, because GG Poker doesn't have a casino. So even though they own it, they need someone to host it. Caesar's has hosting rights for 20 years. Interesting, rights doesn't mean it's mandatory. So if at any point Caesar says it doesn't want to host it anymore, I guess GG Poker scrambles to find someone in Vegas who will. I, as soon as El Dorado merged, really seems more like a purchase than a merger, merged with Caesars, and you could see all the things they were doing to try to like dissuade people from playing poker in their properties. I've been waiting for them to sell the World Series of Poker. I thought they would sell it to MGM, and it would be hosted at Bellagio for reasons I won't bore you with, but sold it to GG Poker. It will still be in Paris, I guess, for at least a couple years. Uh, the thing is, it's odd, it's odd. It's poker's in a second boom, and things are like closing instead of opening. Uh, I'm not sure Caesar's Palace will ever have poker again. I mean, they're saying it's a renovation, I don't know if it's ever coming back. I thought Caesars would sell the series and then get rid of poker in Caesars Palace and Bally's. You probably call it Bally's Horseshoe. They did part of that, kind of like two of the three parts. They don't own the series, and for now, poker does not exist in Caesars Palace. You know, the solace we always had with poker not leaving Caesars Palace was that they loved having that title like Four Diamond Resort or something, and to have that title, you need to meet many requirements, one of which is having a poker room. So we never worried about poker leaving Caesar's Palace because of that. Now, my top theories are one, they don't care about the title, or El Dorado doesn't care about the title, or two, they're gonna like milk this renovation for as long as possible. I wonder how long poker could be under renovation which means in reality, in the building, it's not there, but on paper, it still exists in order to receive that title. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if poker never comes back to Caesar's Palace. And I also wouldn't be surprised if, as soon as Caesar's stops hosting the World Series of Poker in Bally slash Paris, whenever they stop hosting it, the poker room in Bally's no longer exists either. They just uh, really don't seem to like poker. It's only in Vegas though, <laughs> that's interesting. In other cities, there's almost like no change since uh, El Dorado became a part of this. Horseshoe Council Bluff still has poker, don't hear any rumors about it leaving. Same thing in Harris Atlantic City, same thing in the Horseshoe Baltimore, same thing in Horseshoe Hammond, same thing in uh, when I was there last, it was the Horseshoe Southern Indiana. Now I think it's called Caesars Southern Indiana. As I am on this uh, patio, with the Bellagio pool behind me. It's kind of sunny, but it's over there. Um, yeah, outside Vegas, things are like the status quo pretty much. Harris, Philadelphia had poker. It shut down during Corona and never reopened. That's the only one I can remember that uh, went away since El Dorado became a part of this. But in Vegas, it's really disappearing from Caesar's properties. Yeah. 
It's an unfortunate consequence for uh, visitors or locals who wanted to earn a status at Caesars Properties without uh, playing a ton, because you were getting 34 tier credits per hour at Caesars for playing anything. Now if you want that many tier credits per hour, your choices are play 2-3 at Bally's, which for one doesn't run every day, and plenty of days has like one lukewarm game, or play Limit. Play a 4-8 Limit at Bally's. I don't know if the people who played No Limit at Caesars are willing to play Limit at Bally's, but that's one option. Another option is play somewhere else and earn a status somewhere else. Another option is not play anymore. It's interesting that they seem to be like pushing away the like very large, like the largest customer base that exists and like making a push for like the smallest, the smallest yet like most profitable per player customer base. You know, at the bottom, you have like a large number of people willing to play a small amount. And then at the top, you have a very small number of people willing to play massive stakes of whatever they play. Uh, I know someone who talked to someone fairly high up at Caesars who said they're trying to attract people who are gonna come into town for F1 and lose a million dollars in that weekend. For one, how many people in the world is that? How many people that are willing to do that weren't here last year? Like if you're here last year and stayed at Venetian, I imagine your plans are the same. You're gonna stay and play at Venetian. Same like at MGM, maybe I'm right here in Vidara, stay at Vidara, play at Aria, something like that. Stay at Win, play at Win. I don't know how many people are willing to do that who did not do that last year. It seems like a very odd like paradigm shift to like, keep making the property less attractive and less attractive to this large number of locals and visitors who used to really like coming to Caesars properties and now you're like driving them away and trying to bring in like a very small number of people who are gonna lose huge amounts of money. I don't even know if those people exist. So that's what's happening. Gave you some information and uh, really, I would not be surprised at all if this renovation just becomes permanent and uh, Pope Room does not return to Caesar's Palace. I don't want that to happen, but I could very much see it happening. So, I'm on my way to play at MGM right now. Uh, could have taken the monorail. I was at Caesar's. Could have went across the street taking the monorail down, but I need to stop at Aria for something unrelated to poker. So, yeah, the Caesar's poker landscape in Vegas is kind of grim these days, although it is what it's been in the other cities. Uh, still love stopping and playing in Atlantic City and Council Bluffs, and uh, should probably find time somewhere to play more in the Horseshoe Baltimore. I did in that uh, seven states in one day challenge earlier in the year, link at the top. If you were not watching the videos back in January, <coughs> that was a great game. That was such an amazing game. There were like two shorthanded tables and they were both amazing. So yeah, Baltimore is the same, Indiana, uh, Hammond, Iowa, New Jersey, still still what it has been in uh, other states, other cities, but in Vegas, things are uh, changing a lot. And remember, rice is a spoon food. <laughs>